Okay, now we're down to the other end here where I ran into that biological transition where it goes from this muscle and connective tissue. And I believe it goes into some uh, tendon fibrils. Um, so I'll go drone that and we'll take a gander. All right, this is really cool in here. This is this is where I found this change. And you can see what well, down there we got like the basalt columnars, like you know, you see in Iceland or whatever. They're really, I can't tell if they're under tension or maybe they're just eroded down like that. It's so hard to tell, you know. The way this stuff all jettisons out at an angle, it's not straight up and down. Well, they just form like that right at the surface. They happen to they're cool like that, Tyson. Don't you know nothing? Don't you have a sixty thousand dollar education like we do? Don't you know how smart we are? Back to the elbows, Mr. Academia, back to the elbows. And those just come out like that. There was, you know, it's all gone. Most of it's gone up above. Who knows what's underneath? All right. And then all through there. So here we go. I mean, look at these angles alone in here. You know, back over there, you got vertical. Here you got angled. Uh, there's more, I showed you in my past videos, that over there, that those plates right there is really even more angled than that right there. Now just think about that for a minute. Just think about that. Why would this be angled? Even with gravity, specific gravity and things sitting level, you know what I'm saying? It's not like the earth is tilted. So why would they formed under the earth be those angled and then straight up and down on the other basalt columnars? They wouldn't. They wouldn't. <laughs> oh, anyway. All right, I digress. I'm gonna go look out, some, check out some other stuff. So, it's got a big cloud bank coming, fog bank coming in too. See it? So I gotta get this done and get out of here because we're gonna be fogged in again. All right.